win this election on Tuesday night. I know you are. First thing, I want to thank somebody special that's on this stage who you can always count on to pull a group together to organize something and to organize people to make things happen, and that's Gaylene Conoy. Thank you, Gaylene. You are terrific. Your energy is endless. We're glad to have you, not just as the Democratic chair in Hampton, but also as, a, as the first vice chair of the party up in Richmond. It's important, the work that you're doing, so thank you so much for what you're, what you're doing for us. I want to tell you why I like Congressman Bobby Scott. He's not only a friend, a mentor to me in Congress, but he's somebody who wants to take this country forward and not let it go backwards. I want to tell you what I like about everybody up on this stage right here is people that want to take this country forward and not backwards. Same thing with Tim Kaine, chair of the DNC, former governor. He is somebody who cares about moving this country forward and not letting it go backward. And let me tell you what I like about President Barack Obama. He's somebody who is working to take this country forward and not let it go backwards. Now, look, we're Democrats, and as Democrats, we don't agree on every single issue. We're like a, we're like a family around the dinner table. We got a great conversation going, we got a great discussion, a great debate, but that's healthy for our democracy. The other side of the equation, they want to say no to everything. Not propose ideas and say we have a different idea and we'd like to have a discussion and a debate and maybe find a common ground. They just want to say no. My message tonight, it's going to be short, but it's, it's very simple. There are a lot of angry, angry voices out there right now. A lot of anger, a lot of resentment, a lot of negativity, a lot of negative energy, and they are directing that negative energy at the president. They are attacking the president every single day. There's nothing that he can do right for some of those folks. You know who I'm talking about, too. You know exactly the people I'm talking about right now. There's nothing any of us can do right. Doesn't matter what we do. We can't do anything right. Every time we do something, it's not wrong. They're fired up right now because they think they have a chance to take this country in a different way. And you know which way they want to take us, and it's not the right way. And you know what they're saying to themselves right now? They're saying, well, we're going to have a good night on Tuesday because the folks on the other side are going to sit this one out. That's what they're saying right now. Not, they don't think they're going to have a good night on election night because they got better ideas or they're, they got an alternative plan to take our country in a, in, to a good place. It's because they think that you, they think this wrongly, but they imagine that you and the folks that are your friends and family members are going to give a pass this year and just kind of let things go where they may. Well, my message again is simple. If you want this country to move in the right direction, and if you're in this room right now, I know that you do. We have to make sure that on election day, on Tuesday, that those angry voices who will be out there voting are not the only voices that are heard this year. Make sure that you use your power and your vote to get out and make sure that your voices are heard as well. We will balance them out. We will keep this country moving in the right direction, but it doesn't end with just you. You gotta talk to your friends. Everybody in this room's gotta get five people to agree, I'm going to vote, and I'm gonna talk to five more people. That's all you gotta do. You get five people to say they're gonna talk to five more in the next two days. It's not that tough. Pick up the phone, go to your neighbor's door. Make sure they're out there voting. If you do that, we're gonna have a great night on election night. Thank you for all the work you're doing for us. Let's get this